What up, Puck Squad? In today's 3 Minute Thursday, I'm gonna be talking about how I personally choose between a power grip and a fan grip. And yes, I am in a t-shirt right now in February in the Northeast, but it's almost 60 degrees out today. When it goes from really cold to really warm, it gets windy that day. So it is pretty windy today. Sorry if you hear a little bit of that in the audio. We are gonna be talking about a power grip versus a fan grip. And for everybody, it's gonna be a little bit different. So I know somebody who pretty much fan grips everything, and one of my good friends, Mark, who's been on the channel a ton, he literally fan grips pretty much everything all the way up to his distance drivers. But I also know somebody, Shane Wyatt, who power grips everything all the way down to his throwing putters. For me personally, I like to fan grip my putters and my mid ranges, and as soon as I get to that six speed, seven speed, more so seven speed, because the six speed still do sometimes have that chunky mid range feeling on the end, but as as soon as I get to that seven speed, like an FD or you know your basic fairway driver, that is when I start to power grip. A really good tip that I give people for fan grip and putting grip, because your putting grip is probably pretty close to your throwing putter fan grip, is close your eyes. Sorry, we're getting Sorry, just got a crazy gust of wind. So my tip would be to close your eyes and most comfortably just grab your disc however it feels the most comfortable. That should be your putting grip and your throwing putter slash mid-range fan grip. I really don't recommend to fan grip uh, fairway drivers and distance drivers just because you are putting that extra torque and that extra snap into it. And especially if your disc is a little bit wet, it's just gonna slide right out of your hand. And that is another tip too. Even when my discs are wet, I really like to dry them off as best as I can and I'm still trying to fan grip and uh, fan grip my putters and my mid ranges, even if they're a little bit wet. But when you're fan gripping mid ranges and putters, most of the time you're not throwing 100%. It's more of like a touch shot or like a hyzer flip up shot. So you're really just trying to put the right touch on the disc and the right finesse on the disc. So for me personally, that is how I distinguish the difference between a power grip and a fan grip. I fan grip my putters and my mids. I power grip my fairways and my distance drivers. And I just do my best to make the right decision up here before I actually go and throw. Because the worst thing is going to throw when the disc doesn't feel comfortable in your hand. So first step is to get that disc comfortable in your hand and decide whether or not you want to power grip or fan grip. All right guys, that wraps things up. If you guys have any tips that you wanna share, make sure to drop a comment and I'll pin my favorite one if it's something that I missed here and it's something that's very valuable to the viewers. So hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys in the next one. Keep eating your vegetables. Drop a like if you enjoyed and drop a sub if you wanna see more. I can't wait for the spring. Just wearing a t-shirt today in this like 57, 60 degree weather is just getting me super pumped up for the spring. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.